One thing that has always gotten me in trouble is overpromising, for one, overpromising and delivering. <laughs> overpromising and delivering. Now notice I didn't say under delivering. So when when you're when you're working with people, um, you know, for one, it's really important for you to come to an agreement like you have your baseline this is what you're doing this is what should be expected and you need to focus on that as much as possible because what could happen in a um in a in a certain a business relationship especially one where they're looking at you for like intellectual feedback is that if you're not careful the scope is going to change the more you engage, right? So like an example with me, I've worked with people on different um, projects where we're, we're creating something, we're creating digital products and stuff. And throughout the course of the project, um, I may present some ideas. And what has happened is I wasn't careful and I end up, I end up creating an expectation that I'm gonna do that for them. Right. And, I, and, and sometimes I, I take I take a thousand percent fault in it because like I'll be like, oh, well, you know, is it that hard to do? You know, should I? And then I'll say, oh, you know, all right, I'll I'll do that. I'll I'll you know, I have access to a bunch of stuff. I'll do it. I'll I'll create that thing. And then it turns into it turns into this thing that has grown. And now it's kind of it's kind of consumed more of the project. So now it's overshadowing the basic expectations, like the base contractual, like what we're working to. So it, it, it's kind of like, like, let's say somebody promised you, uh, let's say somebody promised you some coffee, right? And you were like, hey, I want some coffee. I pay you for the coffee. And all of a sudden, um, you know, the, the person that's getting you the coffee said, hey, um, you know, the coffee is not going to be any good without the creamer. And you, you also may want some sugar and you also may want this. You also may want that. And all of a sudden you're like, wow, you know what? Well, you know what? Okay, cool. So now, now you, you have a list of expectations in your head with regards to what you're going to get from this, right? It's not just coffee anymore. It's a whole latte. And let's say they come back and like they, get, they didn't give you enough sugar. Um, you didn't get a lot of creamer. But now you don't like the whole thing. Like, I don't like the coffee. I don't like this drink at all. This is trash. Well, but for the most part, everything that you agreed to is inside of that drink. I told you that it would be better with this other stuff. I just didn't give you all of the stuff that, you know, it costs me to give you all the extra stuff. But now they're not happy with the basic stuff, right? That, that's, that metaphorically, that's what, happens if you're not careful in business, especially when you're delivering like intellectual products, all right? So here are my tips, here are my tips. So first and foremost, when you are laying out agreements, make sure that you are 5,000% clear on what they get. Like you have to get them to envision this stuff as much as possible. Like it has to be, like you have to be clear. <laughs> List it out. It has to be in an agreement, okay? First thing. Second thing, I know you, you may get excited when you get on these calls, when you get on these meetings. I know sometimes you might get excited. I want to encourage you not to get too excited, all right? Like, you got to focus on the task at hand. Be happy for them, but do not sit here and compromise the, your own deliverables because you think that there should be five other, six other things that they should have to make this even better for them. Focus only on what it is that you agreed to. Because otherwise, you'll fall into situations that I've gotten into where I overpromised and I just delivered. 